Hi students, so today's video is about spinal cord physiological aspects. Why we are reading spinal cord? Because to understand nervous system, we should be very clear about the structural aspect of spinal cord, right? So let us see in this video. Okay, so starting with structural aspects. So basically central nervous system is composed of brain and spinal cord, right? So where it's situated, you can see a vertebral column here. So in between there is a space where spinal cord is situated. And obviously it starts from... Um, medulla part of brain stem right okay so uh, the cerebrum on uppermost is cerebrum right then midbrain midbrain then pons then medulla and then spinal cord fine if you see from posteriorly you can see here a pair of uh, nerves are basically emerging out at every vertebral column okay if you see vertebral column uh, there are segments cervical thoracic then lumbar then sacral and coccyx okay the same division is given to spinal cord also so the same if we talk about the spinal nerves emerging out so there are pair of spinal nerves emerging outside okay so they are also named with same division that is c1 to c7 spinal nerve okay so cervical spinal nerve 12 thoracic spinal nerve 5 lumbar spinal nerve 5 sacral and 1 coccyx so total 31 spinal nerve pairs are present in our body okay we'll see what are these spinal nerve composed of and what is structure of spinal cord okay so first of all if we see a cut section of spinal cord we can see the spinal cord uh, structure internal structure look like this fine so uh, we, we were talking about spinal nerves so what it is composed of it is com it is basically made by two root. One is dorsal root having afferent or sensory root and one is ventral root which is the motor root. So both combine and form spinal now on one side, right? So there are pair on both the sides are present. Fine. We'll see this structure. Don't focus here. But we know that the spinal cord is very delicate structure. So this should be covered with some layers, right? And as it's parts of CNS, so it should be covered with the same layers covered with brain so brain is also covered with dura arachnoid and pyometer right so the same uh, is present here also the same layers so outermost is dura matter then middle one is arachnoid and the innermost one is pyometer okay you can see a central canal also at center where csf flows fine now let's see the structure of spinal cord fine if you see the microscopic structure of spinal cord you can see a H shaped area which is called gray matter fine it's surrounded uh, with white matter around it fine and these are basically the dorsal root and ventral root and dorsal root have a ganglion here okay so this is dorsal root ganglion and why we have ganglion here because the sensory afferents are basically carried from our body by pseudo unipolar uh, neurons so uh, if you have understood types of neuron in last video we have seen there is pseudo unipolar neuron type which is having one way uh, impulse transmission but the cell body is at center it resemble bipolar okay so that's why we have dorsal root ganglion here fine okay uh, talking about the structure of spinal cord so uh, innermost uh, area is gray matter Okay, here is a central canal which is not shown here. You can see here in this image central canal is visible. Okay, now you should be very clear about this that what is gray matter and what is white matter. If you talk about CNS, the gray matter and white matter is present. Fine. Okay, so uh, gray matter is basically the collection of cell body. If you, if you remember an uh, exon structure, there is cell body, there is exon dendrites. Okay, so the cell body collection is gray matter in CNS. If the gray matter or cell body are present outside the CNS, they are ganglion. Okay. And uh, if small uh, area of gray matter are present within CNS, within white matter, they are nuclei. Okay. These terms should be very clear to you. So here gray matter are basically the cell body collection. And white matter is the exon collection, exon fibers. Okay. So there are many fibers which are going upward ascending fibers and coming downward descending fibers and the synapse occur in this gray matter area okay so if uh, one exon is actually descending and then now it have to leave to uh, respective vertebral column so it is going to synapse here 
and on a some motor neuron okay so this is uh, gray matter having cell body and outside white matter having exome if you see a simplified structure so if you see this gray matter now okay the dorsal uh, area of this gray matter is called dorsal horn fine and the dorsal area of white matter is called dorsal column fine anterior portion so this is anterior which is bit wider if you see this gray matter area this is bit wider so anterior horn this is called anterior horn or ventral horn okay uh, and uh, the anterior part the anterior part of white matter is called uh, anterior column or ventral column fine uh, and this is dorsal root and this is ventral root making spinal now so are you clear now with the structure of spinal cord that is gray matter central canal white matter and so dorsal and ventral area ventral column so these column why these columns are divided why this gray matter have further division of uh, dorsal column ventral column and in between there is intermediolateral column why why it have because the function of these areas are different so let's see what are the differences okay so coming to dorsal horn what is difference in dorsal horn or dorsal column completely so dorsal column is basically concerned with ascending fibers and sensory fibers so every sensory information fine touch proprioception position everything so every sensation is basically transferred to our higher center that is cerebrum by dorsal column so dorsal column include white matter which are the ascending fibers exons and various synapses occur at dorsal horn fine so dorsal area is related to dorsal column is related to uh, ascending fibers fine there is ventral column which is basically having descending motor fibers okay so from motor system from uh, motor system the cerebrum and uh, various other motor areas the basal ganglia the cerebellum okay all this main motor fibers are descending downward and synapses on motor neurons and then the signal is transmitted to some effectors for whatever action it is fine so all the motor activities all the reflexes so they occur the descending track come here in ventral horn or ventral column fine there is uh, in between both the horn ventral and dorsal there is intermediolateral horn okay so this intermediolateral horn of gray matter and intermediolateral column of white matter are concerned with the autonomic uh, system so autonomic all the sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers whether they are ascending or descending they are present in the intermediolateral area of spinal cord so that that's all about the functions of spinal cord now to know properly the role of spinal cord you should know how basically it's connected to other areas so uh, basically how the connected to areas are connected to spinal cord for example th this is uh, any tissue like skin uh, a stimulus is applied on the skin and the afferent signal goes via pseudo unipolar afferent now fine now uh, this is going to synapse in uh, spinal cord if it's a reflex if it's a monosynaptic or uh, polysynaptic reflex but the coordinating center is spinal cord right so efferent starts from here only and it's innervating the effector muscle and whatever action uh, is needed it is to be done fine so if the coordinating center is spinal cord in only that case it happen but if the higher center is coordinating center then what happens so the same way afferent signal goes to spinal cord now we have to see this same signal is basically transmitted to some ascending areas other areas so the nerve impulse is basically goes via ascending fibers to brain or it it may go to brain stem or other areas right uh, and the signal is then carried back okay in form of impulse only by descending tracks fine again to spinal cord and now the descending tracks they synapse on some motor neuron here and the motor efferent the efferent now again stimulate the effector muscle so whatever stimulus is uh, sent to uh, brain areas and whatever uh, the response is given by those areas 
it basically innervate the effector muscle or effector tissue for action right so that's how basically all the sensation we felt at cerebrum level at brain level and whatever reflexes and responses are basically carried to respective peripheral organs so that's how spinal cord acts as a relay center and how, that's how the dorsal area is basically having all the ascending tracts and ventral area is having all the descending tracts okay there are some sensations which are also going from lateral and ventral areas also we'll discuss in ascending and descending tracts okay so that's all about spinal cord anatomy now one thing left is the spinal nerve or peripheral nerve what is difference between a simple axon because mostly students uh, basically confuse between nerve and neuron difference so a uh, nerve what is this nerve to know this let's see a cut section of this spinal nerve this is a cut section of spinal nerve which you can see is uh, covered by a layer called epineurium and if we see inner side of this there are number of fascicles present you can see artery and veins are also present here and there are number of fascicles now what are these fascicles so this is a zoomed view of only one fascicle which is covered with a layer called perineurium right so perineurium is covering fascicle now fascicle is composed of many axon fibers so one axon is shown here which is a myelinated axon because sequon cell uh, nodes of ranvier you can see here okay so this is myelinated axon and this is covered by endoneurium okay so peripheral now is basically collection of bundle of axons packed in fascicles right so you can see here one axon one axon fiber cell body of that axon is present in spiral uh, the spinal ganglion right okay we have seen the dorsal root ganglion so this is a pseudo unipolar axon so it can be motor it can be sensory right so peripheral now which is com composed of dorsal and ventral both root okay so you should be very clear that what is difference in now this peripheral spinal now from axon because now is composed of many axon bundles right so that's all about now now you should be very clear about the spinal cord lesions depending on if all the so first of all the lesion how basically patient present depends on first of all the level of spinal cord injury right so depending on the innervation which part is innervating which area accordingly if the spinal cord is lesioned at that level the area innervating to tissue that will be affected first of all second thing is if the same level we have to see what will be affected for example if only dorsal area is affected then the sensation will be lost respective sensation on same side or other side fine if ventral area is affected injured then the motor fiber will be lost so we will feel sensation in that case but we are not able to uh, do motor activities or uh, fine motor activities right if intermedial lateral area is affected then we will be losing autonomic fibers that means all the autonomic reflexes the cardial vagal innervations all those will be affected so we can we will not be able to manage the bp all, all the reflexes so sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers the effects will be lost okay so depending on this you should know if you if you are asked like uh, what is basically dorsal column injury or uh, what can happen so you can see like fine touch proprioception the sensory part will be lost okay so this is just to make you clear according to functions what can happen in spinal cord lesion okay so that's all about spinal cord the structural aspect the innervation part what is basically role of spinal cord in next video will be uh, will uh, will see uh, what are the ascending tracts and what are descending tracts how basically they go which part of the brain they are innervating okay and which type of sensation they are concerned with okay so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you like my videos you can comment below if you have any query thank you so much